Hello my friends and welcome to Hyper Light Drifter. Hyper Light Drifter is a game that I've seen a little bit of footage about and uh, I really like the art style and the gameplay that I had seen and I thought that it was going to be super cool so I'm going to play it. Now um, a lot of you, well some of you may be asking where the heck is Fallout 4? Uh, and I'm going to tell you the truth about this. When I was thinking about playing Fallout 4 this week I was not terribly excited about it and I think it may just be that I'm getting kind of burned out on the game. Uh, so I'm going to use this as an opportunity to take a little bit of a break and play something different, and that different thing is going to be Hyperlight Drifter. That doesn't mean that Fallout 4 is going away permanently, that just means that it's going away for now. It's quite possible that after this I will continue to play Hyperlight Drifter, to continue to play Fallout 4, and uh, you guys will get some more Fallout 4 action. But for now, we're going to play some Hyperlight Drifter. Now, I already played a tiny bit. I already played a tiny bit because... Uh, I wanted to make sure that uh, the audio balance was okay and all that stuff, and I may still tweak it a little bit. But, I also played to make sure that I could actually record this thing. thing. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I'm going to be good at the game. Far from it. I'm probably going to be terrible. But I'm going to shut up and let you watch this cutscene. Alright, so, that's the intro to Hyper Light Drifter, and I guess now we're going to get to the uh, tutorial, if I remember right. So now, the gameplay for this game is, okay, we got a lot of coughing blood going on, which is evaporating very quickly, which is kind of creepy. Um, the gameplay for this game is very similar to, uh, I would say it's like a 2D Dark Souls, like there's, well, for example, you got this dodge that you can do. And there's not exactly a stamina system, but there is, uh, like, you can only do a three-hit combo. Like, check this out. 
and then you gotta stop. Okay, so left bumper to heel. Mm-hmm. And then turn right. Yeah, it's Y to pick up stuff and, and use things. So there we go. So now uh, this is going to be the, the the episodes are going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to do uh, 30 minute episodes because the other thing is that currently I'm watching my parents' cats. I don't actually have as uh, as much time as I usually do uh, to do recordings. So um, I'm going to be doing slightly shorter episodes. I wonder if there's anything over here. Okay, that's one thing that I've seen about this game is that apparently there are a lot of secrets hidden in, within the environment. Okay, jumping across the stuff. Pick this up. That's good. Come here. Oh, shit. No, no. Don't you dare. There we go. Crazy frog critter. Get out of here. Skellies. Nobody wants any skellies. Ooh, more health. Or more health packs, I should say. Uh... Oh, okay. There we go. Making a bridge across. Why to ping the HUD? Okay, so pinging the HUD just, it'll tell you, like, how much uh, health you have, etc. Alright, then we can use our little robot dude to open that. Can I go over here? Nope. Okay. Uh, eventually, you also get a gun, if I, <coughs> if I remember right. Climb this. Ah, here we go. I think this is where we, get, where we get the gun. Yep, there we go. It's not the most accurate thing in the world, and you can aim it using the... This game highly recommends that you use a controller, and uh, if you hold down the left trigger, it allows you to aim, and then right trigger to shoot. And uh, one thing that I really love about this is that the way that you regenerate your ability to shoot is... Um, you hit stuff. <laughs> you shoot that, and then let's just get across. See, so that that bar, ooh, that bar in the top left, how uh, one of the little hoobajoos is like kind of filling up a bit. There we go. Get out of here. Dang pillars. Hey! Not okay, dude. Get out of here. Let's uh, let's heal ourselves. We took a little bit of damage, and this will allow us to pick up this health pack. Dash across. Oh, God, don't fall off, though. I'm falling off. Falling off is bad. And one thing that I have absolutely been adoring about the the, the little bit of this game that I played is... Um, I, those of you who have been watching a while know like the kinds of games that I tend to like. Um, or like the, the kind of art within games that I tend to appreciate the most. And... Um, it's, it's really, I, I don't really know how exactly to, to describe it, but I would say, like, at least in this case, beautiful and grotesque is the way that I would describe the art in this game. Like, you'll, you'll see some of it, but, man, I just, I, I, I really, really like this game so far, even though I kind of suck at it. <laughs> it, is, it is just really cool. Like, the beginning with those big robot things, at least I'm guessing they're robots, or maybe they're just giants, I don't know, but they look like they were made of machinery, but they they died and like started rotting, even though they're apparently made of metal. I don't know. Well, then again, I don't actually know if they're made of metal. And so you can actually get behind stuff like this, and it'll give you like a little silhouette. So um, I guess there are sometimes like secrets and stuff hidden behind here. There's a little pathway over this way. Maybe this leads somewhere. No. Okay. I, I gotta check. I gotta check. That's one thing. This is going to be very much in the vein of, uh, like, whenever I play through a Souls game, where I, I take my time, I try to explore a lot. If there's a boring part where I'm just kind of, like, fucking around, I'll probably just cut it out. And this. This. So, about the intro, I think... Well, I'll, I'll, I'll wait to talk about that, but man, just look at this vista. Like... It just... It, it's, it's so gorgeous. And a little creepy. Like, you definitely get the sense that the world is overgrown and that you're kind of in this apocalyptic place. Or, well, not apocalyptic place, but, like, that an apocalypse has hit. Something has caused the civilization to die. And we've got reverse rain and coughing. Not sure what that's all about, but I have, some, I, I have a feeling it has something to do with the intro. Like, maybe this thing is controlling our brain somehow? I like where our little robot is actually laying next to us as well. 
Notice the dog in the bottom. Okay, we're awake. Ooh, okay. I can attack stuff. Um, I, ooh, I didn't actually notice this before. What is this? Oh, we just turned off the lights. Oh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Oh, that... Okay. <laughs> Sorry I broke your shit, dude. Alright, so now we can view a map. And let's see. Right bumper. So we've got... What is this? I guess we'll get different guns at some point. I don't know what this is. Maybe we can equip two guns at once? Not really sure. Now, I, I played a little bit through the first level, and when I say a little bit, I mean very little. Uh, oh. I don't think I saw this before. But I think I know what that's referring to. And I'll mention it when we get there. But see how there's, um, there's a big diamond shape. And there are these four quadrants for each piece. And I think that there's like these things at each level that you have to mess with. And I'm not but I really don't know why. This is another great thing about this game, is that it the, the storytelling is all visual. There's as far as I can tell, there is no text. At least as far as I've seen, there's no text. Aside from just telling you what's what. We can warp here anytime using the map. Now, j just look at this. So, there's this diamond. Alright? And I think that this corresponds to that little diamond uh, hoobajoo that we saw. This looks like it might be another teleporter spot. Um, and it also looks very similar to... Like, if you look over in the rest of this map, it looks like the four things that we saw in the very beginning of the intro, like in the intro cutscene, this looks exactly like that place, which kind of makes sense that that's where... What the hell? Okay, that looks like one of those big giants. Interesting that that's actually on the map. Can we go over this way? No? That's a wall? Okay. Okay. So let's see what we got around here. Okay, and there's that. There's the the diamond again. I swear to God, my high school geometry teacher would kill me if he heard me say that, that was a diamond. <laughs> what was it he used to say? There's no diamonds, only squares laid on their sides. Oh yeah, and check this out. When when you hit the uh, the button to use the sword while you're in town, he is that a wait a minute? Is this a skeleton playing a guitar? But uh, it looks like he kind of flips the the hilt of the sword out a little bit and then just kind of leaves it alone. Okay, so we don't understand what he's saying. What's up, dude? Hmm. Alright. And I still don't, you know... I don't know why, but I just... I, I, I love games that don't, like, just kind of bark the story at you. That just... What the hell are you doing, dude? You just flipping burgers? Okay. What's up with you? Okay, it looks like... He was with some f wolf or fox person that got surrounded by critters. And then the... I think that's the guy that saved us. Came in after that wolf person got messed up and he killed all the critters. And then they were like, thank you? I don't know. Hmm. Wait, did we come up... We came from this way, did we not? No, we did not. This is not where we came from. We came from another area. So then we've got... What's this? Nothing? We've got this. Which is... I think this was... Okay, I did come in here before. So this person can teach us new skills. New combos. But I don't really know... How? Um... Looks like we need some kind of points or something. Maybe it's like XP? I think there's like a weird money system in this game. And if I'm right, whoop, this guy teaches us dodgy stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, see, right on the on the left of the little options here, there's like a little 
like little Roman number twos. And this guy looks like a robot person. He kind of looks like Bender <laughs> from Futurama, but with like a captain's jacket on. Let's see what else. Okay. Oh, so we can teach us something to either deflect or destroy projectiles. And then a dash that doesn't attack. That's pretty sweet. Actually, let's look in here. What was that? Oh, I think it's just the, the sound for, for when it's going to start saving. Okay. Well, I don't have any money, so we can't really do anything with that. Well, I say money, but it could also be experience. Okay, we just came from that area. So what do we have over to the side? Did I already look over here? I don't think I did. Now we've got this dude. Who... Oh, hey, are you the person? You're the person! You look like the person that that dude was talking about. You look just like that person. That, that dog, wolf, person. What's up, dude? What's up with you? Okay, you are like a rat frog? I don't know, you got, a, you got a big chin. Okay, so you just give us more health pack things, looks like. More uses of our med kits. More med kits that we can store, maybe. And then what's this? This is probably upgrade our guns. Okay. This guy looks like kind of a hermit or something. But then again, how does he know about guns if he's a hermit? Who knows? Who knows these things? I don't. So these are all different guns, I would suppose. So he's just giving us more uses of our guns. Okay. So then what is this? It looks like... Well, fuck if I know. <laughs> okay, so it's a bomb. So this person allows us to get a bomb. Alright, or maybe more uses of a bomb? Not really sure. All right, let's, uh, let, oh, who are you? So, you came here. You met the, those look like the vendors. And they beat the crap out of you. And that's, now you're here. That's a shit story. Dude, that sucks. Hmm. At least it looked like the vendors. Like these guys. Maybe it wasn't them. I don't know. But anyway, let's let's get on with the uh, let's get on with the gameplay. It's been like 17 minutes, and I haven't really gone any place. So let's let's go. Now I'm going this way um, because this is the area that I started going to when I came through here and er, when I was uh, doing a test recording. Okay, robot spiders, go fuck yourselves. Don't want any of that. No, no, get out of here. Uh, ooh. Yeah, we're not exploding today, thank you. Um, I think I actually want to go up around this way first. Let's see. So what the hell is this? It just looks like a big collapsed building. We've got that over there. Whatever it is. Maybe I can get there going like that, okay. Okay. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, God, no. Okay. That was really bad. Uh, let's heal. Because <laughs> we're about to get a health pack. So that's good. That's a good thing. <laughs> so much like my Explorations and Souls games, I'm probably going to die a whole lot. Nope. Okay. That's not where he was. Goodbye, robot. Goodbye. It seems like we get more charge for our guns when we kill, or when we hit stuff, like enemies, rather than terrain things. I, I like that so far this game seems to have a very healthy amount of exploration, and it doesn't just, like, interrupt you all the time. Okay. Where's that? Oh! Well, that's a spider thing, but I'm talking over there. Looks like a gun or something. pick that up. Uh, I wonder if shooting you does anything. Nope, doesn't appear to do anything. Uh, oh, hey! Robo-spider. Hmm, 
I don't want to go over there just yet. I want to look around this area just a tiny bit more. This also looks like a very large, formerly gun type thing. Is, this, is there a secret around here somewhere? Nope. I thought maybe there would be a secret in these trees. Since they were hidden behind skeletons. Hmm. But I really hope you guys are kind of picking up what I'm putting down, uh, putting down about the, uh, like, the art direction of this game, where it's got, like, this grotesqueness, but it's also gorgeous. Like, the nature and just, there, there's just so much to like about this game. So much to like about this game. Okay. Let's see what we got over this way. We can't go down that way, or over there. But we can go across. We've got these statues here that look like, I don't know, Scottish Fold cats? <laughs> I don't know. Man, just, like, look at the water. It's so... I, I don't know. I, I'm going to keep saying, like, beautiful, gorgeous. Those are the words that keep coming to mind when I look at this. Like, all these bright colors... Okay, so we've got a frog with some kind of grossness on his face. Okay, so that I, I think what he's trying to tell us is like that's the boss, that's the guy you got to kill if you want to if you want to go places in this world. The why is not really presented to us. We don't really know why yet. Aside from some guy in this place was like, hey, well. Okay, ninja frogs. That's good. That's a good thing, right? Okay, don't don't uh oh crap. <laughs> don't do stupid things. Don't don't waste all your ammo. I got to I got to get better at aiming. That's for sure. Ow. All right, let's heal ourselves. Is there a health kit around here? I don't see one. This is one that's hiding. Ooh, wait, actually, wait a minute. Are you hiding? No? Nothing hiding? Alright. Oh, what the fuck? Like, look at this. It looks like they put these critters' heads on pikes and then skinned them? And this looks like a pile of dead dudes. Jesus. Holy shit. Actually, I wonder if I can get on that aqueduct. Nope. Okay. It's not going to let me. That's okay. It's like you can see that there were clearly ruins here. Or it, there were buildings here, I should say, that have been flooded completely. So this isn't it, the natural state of the place. That looks like a giant arm holding, like, a humongous cleaver sword thing. Oh, God. I freaking love the music in this game. Is it, is it telling that I can't shut up about how much I love this game already and I haven't even gotten like that far into it? What was, it, what was that? What the fuck? <laughs> whoa, whoa, okay, so what, what the... Why why you only light up a little bit? Hmm. Okay. So we'll use this, see what happens. Okay. So now what do we got? Okay, so we got a dark place. And corpses in the water. Okay, I'm really glad that didn't explode in my face. But, okay, we're coughing. We're coughing up pink blood. More corpses. There's just more, you know... More of what I was kind of trying to get at. Like this grotesqueness, but it's also freaking gorgeous. Okay, so this is an example of one of the things that I was talking about. So, remember earlier on, it showed us this little diamond? So we do that, and now it, tell, it shows us this. And I think what it wants us to do, because if you look, like, on the inner diamond, there's, next to each of the outer diamonds, there's, like, four little squares. And... I think what it's trying to tell us to do 
is that like in each of these areas there's four of those things that we have to interact with, but I really don't know for sure. Okay, that gets blocked. This is a disappointment, but hey, can't shoot the crazy weird frog people, the ninja frogs. Can I hit this? No. And just start chucking frogs all over the place. All right, let's wreck these plants, get our charge back. What do we have over here? Oh, okay, so there's another one of these things. I don't know what you do. <laughs> I have zero idea of what you do. Interesting that the music changes when we get near one of those arms. Well, maybe it doesn't change when we get near one of those arms. Maybe that's just how the music kind of progresses. I don't know. Okay, we got another one of these teleporty pads. So that's good. Actually, I wonder... Does this show... What is this showing us? Oh! What the heck? What in the hell? What is this? This is weird. Um... Okay. Ooh! Oh... Huh. Alright, well we can't go down this way because this is all blocked off. So... Uh, we came from there, yeah? Yeah. So I think we want to go up. Is that right? Or did we come from up? No, no, no. We didn't come from up. What the hell? These look like dead people. What the hell is going on? Am I going to fall if I do that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, <laughs> I'm just going to do a Michael Jackson pose is what I'm going to do. <laughs> no, no, let's let's not do that. Alright, so the frog ninja's attacked. At least that's what it looks like. And these dog bunny people ran up oh god. They got captured and decapitated and they ha ah, and they hung up their skins and it looks like this guy was trying to escape. Can I help you? Like can I Okay, I can't use my sword when I'm near him. I also can't use my gun. Maybe there's a key that we can find later to let this guy out? Wow. Again, I, I love the visual storytelling. And that he's not like, I was captured, and then they did some stuff. Well, they're just like showing you these pictures and then you kind of figure it out from there. And I'm coughing up uh, purple blood again, or pink blood. Oh my god. And we've got more of those people, but they're crushed by this pillar. So what do we have around here then? Anything? Anything that I would like to mess with? We've got a big ass statue is what we got. I don't see anything super spectacular over here. So I suppose we just continue on to this. Hmm. Alright, do we have anything to go over to around here? No. Those are okay. That guy's got a, a, a gun. Oh my god! Oh god, it exploded! Holy shit, what the frick? Okay, so now we know about you. And I ain't playing. No, you get wrecked. You get wrecked. That's what you get. Mm mm. Oh, healthy. Oh, shoot. Healthy bits. Grab that. Another healthy bit. Okay, so they probably expected us to take a shit ton of damage right there. Why is this, like, half-charged? Okay, another healthy bit. I see you. Oh, crap. Uh, this is not good. 
Oh, hell! Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Oh, oh my god, that really hurts. He just took two health off of me. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's heal that. Grab this health pack. Wow. Big plant dudes hurt like a son of a bitch. Can you go down this way? I can. Uh, let's go down there in just a sec. I think we should go this way first. Okay! Oh, boy. Alright. Oh, I see the health pack right there. I can't get there. And there's a thing up there, so let's try to go up first. It's one of those uh, diamonds that my geometry teacher would be very upset about. Or rather, former geometry teacher. Since I am not in high school anymore. Far past it, in fact. I see you explodey gits. Explodey buttholes. Okay, that that's the wall. That's right. Get wrecked. Come over here. Where it's fair. What's this? Oh, okay, I got another square. Whatever that means. Hello, you're not a frogman. I don't know what you are, you're like a frog fox. Ow. Ow. Ow, okay, can't dodge through that. That's, that's good to know. That's a good thing. Or rather, another health pack. Anything through here? Alright, so let's do this first, because I think this is going to open... Yep, that's going to open that up. Let's pop this guy. Okay, so we got two... Well, oh, mate, maybe there's more! This looks like there's like a box outside of the triangle. I, I don't know. All right, folks, so that's going to do it for this episode of Hyper Lad Drifter. I hope you all did enjoy it. And if you did, you know what to do. That is going to be a notorious BLT. I'll be a fantastic day, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye, folks.